Dang it, awkward. We just signed up for a new gym membership. There's nothing against our old gym at Lifetime. We're still the membership there, but this LA Fitness is actually a ton closer to our house, which would be really nice. So it also allows us when we're traveling to have a lot more options of gyms to actually go to when we're on the road. So today I think I'm gonna do a back workout. I was gonna do legs, but my legs are still sore from my workout that I did like six days ago. So I'm gonna do back today. Also, our latest boot camp, where it's it's a challenge, what we're calling it a winter boot camp, is now live. So if you guys want to enroll in that, I'll put the link below. It's gonna be incredible. We are giving you guys an entire year worth of workouts. The challenge is eight weeks, but we're giving you guys an entire year of workouts, meal plans, etc. Eight weeks are great for a challenge, but what happens after that? We don't just wanna leave you guys high and dry. So that's why we're giving you an entire year of workouts for your entry. It's going to be great. So we're really excited about it. We really hope you guys join it. It's going to be amazing. And the winner, winner gets an all, all expense paid trip to the Arnold this year. It's something that we were toying with for a few months, trying to figure out a good prize, figured this would be incredible. We're really excited. So sign up for that. Check it out. It's going to be fun. We're doing individuals and couples as well. So either can join. That's all listed on my blog, which is in the link. My back workout today consisted of drop sets. That means I completed 10 at my heaviest weight, dropped the weight, completed 10, and then dropped the weight again and completed another 10. I did this circuit five times. I then hooked up the close grip handle onto the cable machine and performed the same drop set circuit five times. I finished with three sets of ten of band rows for each arm. My next exercise was dumbbell rows. I did five on each arm and repeated that three times. Make sure to go heavy on this exercise. My final circuit was 20 seconds of single arm battle ropes and then 15 seconds together. I then completed 10 burpee rows and 5 to 10 second superman holds for your lower back. I completed this three times. If your gym doesn't have battle ropes, you can substitute with crawl outs. It's a straight bum day. It's Sunday, bumming it. Anyways, so killed our workout. My tripod was loose. Killed our workout. Worked at Starbucks this morning. Got a lot of work done there. It's nice to get out of the house, especially when you're self-employed. Get out, get a new surrounding. Now I'm going to make taco lettuce cup things for lunch. Um, use turkey, use beef, use whatever you want. I'm using ground venison. Again, use whatever you want. That's for lunch. And then after that, I am going to work on getting more workouts added to bummerfitness.com while watching football because it's Sunday and I want to watch football. So, um, like I said, I'm using ground venison. How are you doing? Mm.
on, come on. You watching football? So now, Jerry and I get to add workouts to MoMoreFitness.com. So, that's what I'm doing right now. We're watching football. Go Dolphins. Not them. No, not them. The other team. What? So, just so you guys know, this is how many workouts we have. These are all full workouts on our website, on BoomerFitness.com. Adding more as we speak. Jerry, come on, let's get your shirt on. <laughs> and she's got the remote. Are you rooting for the Dolphins? Yep. She sure is. Hi friends. So, Jerry and I are going to be doing some arts and crafts. Um, if some of you guys saw on Instagram like mm, two weeks ago, I got a turkey in Nebraska with my bow and I mentioned that I was going to be doing this stuff. Obviously ate the meat, which you guys saw in a previous video, but I wanted Jerry. What are you doing? But I also said that I was going to be doing stuff with feathers and I'm going to show you guys one of those projects. So, Jerry picture frame, lots of feathers, and then I'm going to be doing some stuff with these little sheds, but that's not this project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually mat feathers and make it a pretty decoration. So I'm pick the three best ones that I want. I think I got a big enough frame. Can you move? Okay, perfect. Jerry Marie. I like these three. Hey, this this one's yours. This one's Jerry's. Okay. All right, so I need three. You're funny. Okay, so I got my feathers. I'm gonna do three. <laughs> Jerry's got her feather. Good girl. Okay, so I got frames that are 11 by 14, so now I need to cut my mat to that size. Perfect, Jerry. That's going to be beautiful. Jerry, what's something heavy we can put on these? Thank you. There, I'm gonna let those dry. Use heavy stuff. A few hours. As soon as it is done, I will throw it up in a video, show you guys where we put it, all that fun stuff. Um, Hopefully this series is going well. I hope you guys are really enjoying it. If there's stuff that you guys have questions on or things that you want to see, definitely leave it in the comments below. Um, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video. Well, it turned out better than expected, thanks to Jerry. Yep, mm -hmm. my partner. Now we just have to figure out where to hang it. Jerry, we'll make more crafts later. We'll do it later. Do you like it? Look, look, we did this. We made this.